Well, Mita, the head of NASA says the U.S. is in a new space race, this time with China. China successfully landed a lunar probe this week, subsequently unfurling the country's red and gold flag on the far side of the moon. But as China makes significant advances in its space program, there are new concerns about their intentions. Correspondent Evan Lambert is live in Washington with more on those concerns, Evan. Hey, Nicole, uh, the administrator for NASA, Bill Nelson, has been saying for some time that China's space program is very secretive. He believes, or they say, that it is a civilian space program. He believes it is a military one. And there are concerns that potentially the goal uh, with that program is to create some kind of anti-satellite uh, spacecraft or anti-satellite missile. We just saw, though, and uh, the administrator has been warning for several months before what you're looking at there on your screen, China's latest moon mission, that we are in a space race with the communist country. China's spacecraft unfurled that flag on uh, from its moon lander and flew back with rock and soil samples from the far side of the moon. That means there are concerns from U.S. officials that China could try to make some kind of territorial claim on the moon. Listen to Administrator Nelson speak to those concerns. My concern is that they don't get there first and then say, this is our area, you stay out. Because the South Pole of the moon is an important part, uh, we think, because we think that there is water there, and if there's water, then there's rocket fuel. And that's one reason we're going to the South uh, Pole of the Moon. And what we saw in the last few days with China's moon mission is a preview to the country wanting to put humans on the moon by the end of the decade. Nicole. All right. So, Evan, tell us more about this new space race. What is the U.S. doing to try to keep pace with China? Nicole, well, if everything remains on schedule with the Artemis program, that would see American astronauts on the moon in the next couple of years. Artemis II is expected to launch not sooner than September 2025, and that would see four astronauts exploring the moon. It's kind of a stop on the way to a more long-term U.S. presence on the moon for science and research. Nicole. All right, Evan Lambert, thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.